Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode on our channel today where we're going to be talking about the best Android box for under $50. That's right, you don't get many great Android boxes for under $50, but I think I found the winning formula here. Coming in at just $49.50 USD, we are going to be taking a look at the A95X Plus Android 8.1 TV box with 4GB of RAM, DDR4, 32GB of ROM. What a mouthful, but... That's the point. We're going to be simplifying this whole equation today and we're going to be finding out whether this box is the best you can get for just $50. Starting off with the packaging, you will be greeted to a beautiful sky blue box actually, a beautiful little logo you'll see here. And right down below here, you're actually going to see the specs. So we got a 4-core A53 processor, it's running Android obviously, it's got an eMMC slot, LP DDR4 RAM, 4K HD and Wi-Fi. Flip the box over. And we're finally talking English. Here are going to be the specs to your average consumer, right? The model is the A59X Plus. CPU is Amlogic Quad Core A53 S905Y2. That is a decent processor for this price. I would have expected a rock chip. I'm very pleasantly surprised that it comes on board with an Amlogic. We got a GPU here, the ARM DVALIN MP2, another check mark in the box, RAM 4GB, and don't forget this is DDR4 RAM, which is extremely good. Most of these boxes in the $50 do come with DDR3 RAM, so that is another tick in the box. ROM 32GB, that is how much space you have on the box, which is pretty damn decent. Wi-Fi 2.4GHz and 5GHz, so you're going to be able to connect to those 5G networks and not just those 2G ones. And 5G, well, double the number, double the speed. Bluetooth 4.2, for $50, Bluetooth 4.2 is good. If you're looking at an even higher range box, you would expect Bluetooth 5. But all in all, everything looks good on paper. Well, what happens when we open the box, though? After you've rummaged through all the foam and plastic and cardboard, which is, very, which is packaged very well, actually, I'm very impressed with that, you will find the box, the A59X Plus box, and you know what? This box is remarkably light. It literally feels like paper. It is absolutely amazing. Super thin, it fits into the palm of your hand. It looks and feels absolutely phenomenal. You will have two USB ports, one USB 1 and one USB 2, which is impressive. Usually you'll only get two USB 1s, but here they've given you one of each. Another check mark. We have the HDMI here and the DC power slot and the SPDIF for alternative audio. At the back of the box, you've got the specs again. Uh, you know what? They really don't want you to forget the specs, do they? They've put it on three times, but you know what? Who doesn't love good specs? Next thing you'll see is the beautiful remote, has all your usual buttons, has a voice control button, so expect some vocal commands, the power button, the usual OK, left, right, up and down, menu, home, back. Also, has a mouse toggle button, so you technically don't actually need an external keyboard. It does come with an onboard mouse toggle, which is very good. It also does come with a HDMI cable, comes with an EU power cord. So by default, this is an EU power cord. However, if you do need the US plug, you can select the US plug and they will ship it in a separate little bag, which I've got right here, which is also very handy because we don't want to be going to eBay and buying $3 US plugs that take 10 weeks to arrive, which believe me, I have done before and it was not a very good experience. But all in all, I'm very impressed. It also does come with a manual, which is perfect. So all in all, What's included? I'm pretty impressed. For 50 bucks, you get quite a bit. You get everything that you're gonna need to get started. So how do you connect this thing to your TV? Well, it is pretty simple. You just plug the HDMI into your TV from the box to the back of your display device. You plug the power in and you plug the SPDIF. It should just be a quick plug in and a quick setup. And this is a screen you will be welcome to here. All your usual stuff in an Android box. Your favorite apps are right at the bottom drawer there. Some of them aren't installed and you do have to go and install them. But the regular apps you get are pretty decent, really. I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing that's going to blow your mind. But uh, let's go over the settings and we're going to get really really down to this here. You got all your usual setup in the Android TV style menu if you have noticed. It's not the usual one they used to have. We're going to go to storage and reset because we're going to find out if this box is really 32 gigabytes. And they weren't lying. It is 32 gigabytes. And is it Android 8? Yes, it is Android 8. We click on that eight times and you will see the Oreo pop up. Now as we back out of this screen 
and go into advanced settings. You're going to get all your advanced ones, okay? So HDMI, CEC, playback settings, but usually can you leave those as default and not touch them? Now, one feature I really like how they've included in there is having the Easy Clean app. You simply open it and you can clean and manage your Android device right from that app. A simple memory clean, a cache clean, basically frees up space on your device so everything that is clogging up your device you can just free some ram and it will make it faster and i absolutely love that now you can also get started with a quick setup wizard app here if you're not sure quite what to do it's a very simple app that is included you can select your wi-fi from here screen ratio time zone everything so this is like a little app if you're not really quite sure on how to set it up through the default settings app so getting started with this box pretty easy i'm liking the simplicity and the speed of the box, on point. Mm. Menus feel zippy, apps open fast, just like the browser app we've just opened, because now we're gonna test some web pages. Everything just feels really smooth. If you've noticed, I'm actually using a little mouse toggle keyboard. I'm actually using an air mouse keyboard here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go to some websites here, and you will see that it's pretty fast. You know, we just loaded that page, and scrolling is smooth. Honestly, honestly, going up and down with this thing is an absolute breeze. And clicking on links, well, there you go. It's just straightforward, and it's so fast and easy to use. Again, scrolling is not a problem. I didn't experience any jittering or any kind of freezing or lagging. But then what we went on to do is actually install Antutu Benchmark to test out its performance in gaming, its performance in GPU, graphics, etc. And I wanted to see, well, how does this stand up to other devices? And this you know, and this is going to test 3D benchmarks, it's going to test speed of the RAM, and it goes from top to bottom with your whole device. And as you can see here, although it is sped up, it was freezing a little bit during the the uh, gaming procedure, but here it was, 56,393, not a bad score, average score really. This was one of those devices where it performed really well when I was using it, and I was a bit surprised to see the benchmark score not be as high as I was expecting. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be as high as the Galaxy, for say, but I was expecting it to be a little bit higher than this, but surprisingly in use, it impressed me. So this is one of those boxes where you can't go by the stats and you gotta go by what we experienced. Overall, in my opinion, I'm gonna give this box a solid eight out of 10. For the price, you're getting an absolute banger of a deal. This is the best box under $50 I've ever tried. I've tried some real stinkers of boxes and this one's just by far the best. And honestly, for a starter box, for a budget box, it is the best you're going to get. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do smash that subscribe button. Slap a like on that video and let me know what you thought in the comments down below about today's way of doing things. Um, Any improvements? Would you guys like to see a face reveal? Tell me down in the comments below. I did enjoy doing this video and we are going to be doing some more on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. I've got a lot more budget tech coming and a lot more tasty, tasty tutorials. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.